Ever since the start of the pandemic, many people throughout the country have taken up various hobbies such as knitting and crocheting. Since then, the demand for yarn has skyrocketed while people rush to the stores for materials for their new projects. Today, Hidden Gems checks out Northampton Wools in downtown Northampton to shop around for yarn and speak to the owner about her business and how it has been affected by the pandemic. The shop was opened by a woman named Jacqueline Severini. She opened the shop in 1981. And in 1988, um, Jacqueline decided to retire, and I purchased the shop from her. So we've been a part of downtown Northampton for a very long time. The pandemic affected us greatly at first. We had to shut down just like everybody else. And um, it was tough going because people weren't out shopping. The store was closed. And at the time, we did not have a working website that you could actually make purchases from. So as hard as the pandemic was to be closed, it actually forced us um, into the modern era. Knitting is very seasonal, especially in this part of the country. So during the winter, we tend to see a lot more people buying wool um, and making sweaters or hats, scarves and mittens. And as we move into warmer weather, knitters are usually gardeners. And so as March comes and the ground thaws, they usually go outside, so they're not knitting as much then. What makes our store unique is that we are small enough to be able to really curate the yarns that we carry. So we carry a lot of um, yarns from small hand dyers. We are very service oriented. Um, so it's not unusual to walk into the store and see me sitting at the table helping two or three people at a time with their knitting projects. We actually do a learn to knit in three hour class and that technique is one of the easiest things to do. In that class, you learn how to cast on and then how to knit. And the very simplest stitch in knitting is garter stitch. And that makes a really nice fabric that doesn't curl. It's really good for scarves because the scarves lay nice and flat, but it creates a nice squishy fabric. We pretty much are at pre-pandemic kind of stage. People were stuck at home and so we see a lot of new knitters and younger knitters. Being in Northampton, we've always had a very large population of young women, especially with Smith and Mount Hoyo College in the area, but now we're seeing even younger um, people. And UMass now even has a really large knitting group that's ongoing and very, very active. So we've seen a big increase in the number of people knitting. Thanks for watching. Go check out Northampton Wools for your yarn needs.